What's up guys, it's your boy Jalen here on another episode of Elevated Minds. And today's episode is gonna be called, Some of y'all are just bad at picking partners. Some of y'all are bad at picking partners. And this is why a lot of your issues happen in relationships over and over and over and over again. And I'm not just saying this as a self-righteous person. I'm not trying to say this to point fingers at anyone because I'm someone also that has picked bad partners in the past. And there's something that happened with me after a while, after picking like the umpteenth, when I say umpteenth, I probably mean like 10th bad partner. (laughs) After I picked like the 10th bad partner, it's like, okay, maybe there's something going on with me maybe there's something going on with my judgment that i missed these different red flags there's something i might have missed because i'm attracted to them i let these red flags go that's what happens a lot of times we we get attracted to someone and you know oh we're just goo goo gaga over them like oh you're batting their eyes and you know saying they look so beautiful or so handsome you see the arms you see the booty you see the thighs you see the arms, you know what I'm saying? You see the the abs and all this. You know what I'm saying? We see all these things and we look past the faults. And everyone's got faults, but we look past the red flag faults. A lot of us would have less problems and we would have less heartbreaks if we could catch these things before it's a problem. When you see it's a red flag, when these when they're waving like the matador and you're just like oh they're so sexy i don't see nothing you know that you can't blame nobody else but yourself when you have partner after partner after partner and they are the same way or i just did, i don't know how i didn't see the red flag it's like well i'm gonna tell you this some people are very good at hiding their red flags but People can only hide their red flags for so long and half the time they're showing them to you in the very beginning. People show you their red flags in the beginning. Yes. And there's a saying from one of my favorite dating coaches, uh, his name is Corey Wayne. And he said, people can only hide who they really are for about the first 90 days. And that is very true. After about 90 days, three months, four months, people's real selves start coming out and you need to pay attention to it. When people tell you and show you who they are, you need to believe them the first time. I'm gonna say that one more time. When people show you and tell you who they are, believe them the first time. Stop giving people the benefit of the doubt. Stop making excuses for people. When you see that this is what their behavior is, then that's what it is. If it sounds like a duck, it walks like a duck, it swims like a duck, it's not a chicken, it's a duck. (laughs) <laughs> so don't 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 second guess yourself don't dis disservice yourself either when you see someone throwing out a red flag or two red flags or three red flags it's time to start making a decision is this person going to be somebody that you need to actually jump into a relationship with a lot of people don't ask themselves that question because maybe they're they're desperate or you know they haven't been in a relationship for so long and it just feels so good to have someone's touch by them you know what that stuff's not worth it because if you ignore those red flags and you get in a relationship with that person that same red flag that you ignored is going to be the exact same reason that you break up and i can speak this from experience personal experience multiple times <laughs> multiple times don't let the beauty and the handsomeness the hunkiness the arms the shoulders the slim waist the thighs the the breasts don't let that blind you from what's really going on because some people can be the worst thing in a pair of jeans but we look right past it and we hop into a relationship willingly willingly into a relationship with some of these people and you know what that's your fault when it all hits the fan it's your fault because you went through it that you decided to ignore the red flags you decided to pick this person and you decided to be in the relationship with them you can't blame a snake for biting somebody when you knew it was a snake you know what i'm saying like it's it's as simple as that you can't blame somebody for showing their true colors when they've already showed you their true colors It's time to start making decisions and taking accountability and responsibility for our actions when it comes to dating and relationships. I know a lot of times bad things do happen. Bad things happen to people. You know, it's not always your fault, but what is your fault is the part that's your fault. And that's the part where when you see these things, you either address it 
and you tell the person I don't like this or give them a boundary and if they break the boundary and continue to break the boundary and it shows you that they don't respect your your boundaries they don't they don't respect you they don't respect you as a person so now it's time to make some assessments all right now that i've seen this what do i do next my suggestion would be if you've seen some red flags with people you see that it's not going to be compatible with you in the long run or short run you've already seen their behaviors and you see that this is who they are and you don't like that imagine being with that person for the rest of your life are you going to really do that to yourself then why waste any more time a lot of people would have way less heartbreaks if they would just nip it in the bud before it even happens don't jump in the sack and have sex with somebody when there's not going to be any potential of y'all i mean y'all can do whatever you want have sex with whoever you want to you can be with whoever you want to and just be ready to deal with whatever consequences come with that that's all i gotta say be ready to deal with whatever consequences come with that because if you decide to ignore the signs then the signs are going to get you that's what's going to come and bite you right in the behind when you least expect it and it all could have been avoided this goes for women this goes for men a lot of men y'all are just as guilty as women a lot of y'all get into relationships with women because she looks so beautiful you know what i'm saying she got the heels on she got the dress on hair flowing she looking right, makeup is right, skin is just bomb. She just glowing. And she's the worst thing in a pair of heels. But you gonna look past it because, oh, the sex is good. Oh, she looks good. Oh, you know what, I mean, I I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? There's other women out here, but you know, she not bad, you know? I could, This is cool. You settling. You settling. Sometimes women and men settle because they're desperate because they want to be with somebody. And let me tell you, man, it's just it's not going to end well for you. But like I said, you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you from personal experience, when you see a red flag, you need to move accordingly. You need to either address it, see what they say, see if they're going to fix that. And if they continue to do the same thing, I suggest you get up out of there because they're not going to change, especially if it's a person that's in their 20s and 30s, 30s for sure. Like if there's somebody that's doing stuff continuously and you don't like it, they're probably not going to change. They're probably not going to change. I can tell you that right now. And that's just facts. I hope I provide you all some value today. Please make sure you guys see some red flags and, and, and people really start to pay attention. Y'all are picking bad partners. And you can't blame nobody for picking bad partners but yourself. Start looking for the green flags in people. When you start, when you start dating and rela having relationships, start looking at the green flags. Like write down a bunch of things. I want someone that's honest, trustworthy, loyal, has a sense of humor, uh, knows how to have a good time, down to earth. Write down things like that. And then if they start to hit all these different things, and then maybe there's only one or two things that you, that's not good on their list, because no one's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect, but you can pick the very closest person of perfection for you. for the man.